Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about the data flow task parallel library. This is kind of the second uh, session I'm doing on it. So I'll continue and you can uh, refer to my older video to see where we kind of left off. But today I want to talk about the transform block in TPL and uh, which is what is used for transforming things and you can study it here more details but let's get started so essentially what i've done is from where i've left off i've created a function called consumer and it just takes a name and it will create for us a new action block and it is doing exactly what it was doing in the previous session where uh, now i'm just printing the name of the block and also the timeout and I've also refactored the code little bit so here I will get a consumer and then I will post to the consumer block and then uh, whenever it's done it will print it and here it is the read key so let's just run this thing and to make sure everything is working as expected and uh, it should be done in a second here you can see we posted all the messages we received all the messages and we are done so that's all uh, fine and dandy. But let's say you wanted to add uh, something called a transform block, which will change its input to output. So the simplest variation I have created here is a transform block. And here I'm specifying the type is input is input. And uh, the output is uh, also an int. And you can see from the definition for the simple one, this is the type of input and type of output you can have. So, uh, once I have this, the transformation I'm doing on this is a very simple. It basically takes the input and squares the input and returns a block. So now we uh, have a function which can return us a, a block. So let's uh, get a block. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I will call it a producer block. So let's just call it producer. And it will be uh, calling this method to get a producer. And so it says local producer is declared before uh, because the name of the method is producer. So let's just call this uh, producer block here, for example. So we got the producer block by calling this method. And we already have consumer one, which is uh, here. So let's create another consumer, for example. So I'm going to call it consumer two. And the reason I'm showing you all this is because uh, we want to be able to uh, connect these producer to these consumers and I want it for demonstration purposes two consumers so this is good now we got two consumers uh, instead of posting to the consumers directly we will be posting to the producer block so let's just uh, producer block so we will be posting to the producer block and uh, we want to here check that the consumer one completes and all of that so that's fine uh, we need to do the same thing for consumer 2. So let's just uh, copy that code and do the consumer 2 completion here. So the consumer 2 will also complete. So this is all fine and good. So we got uh, something being sent to a producer block and then we have two consumers, but they are not linked. So in TPL, the way to link them is to get uh, look at the source block which is the producer block here and we are going to uh, link to so this is an easy one and we can link it to consumer one so and we also want to link it to consumer two so basically what we have here is the producer is essentially being linked to consumer one and consumer two and the reason we are doing two consumers is that way we can do faster processing and be able to see and as you already know uh, the name of uh, the consumer one or two is going to be printed here so let's just do this so we have a producer which is being sent some messages it's connected to consumer one and two and let's see what is the result of all this if you run this so let me just clear this and uh, run uh, quickly so it should just uh, print some information uh, in a second so this is actually a little bit uh, kind of weird because it did some successful post, it done consumer one and two, but we didn't really get any information out of the uh, 
consumers like producer was sending something to this sends to consumer one links to consumer two and then uh, consumer uh, producer block is posting and here we do the consumer one complete consumer two complete oh that was the problem so we don't want to be doing completion on the consumer basically we want to do the completion for example on the producer so let's just do the producer block complete that way we know we are not going to get any more new messages in the producer block so let's just uh, see uh, what happens if i run this okay so this is uh, behaving a little bit better uh, we can see that we posted all these messages and all the messages are doubled and they are being consumed 0 through 9 but still the strange thing is all the messages are just going to consumer 1 you can see consumer 2 is not getting any messages so it's really not helping us with our parallel processing or we thought we were doing parallel processing by having two consumers here so part of the problem here is that um, these consumers have unbounded capacity so producer will first send information to whoever is linked first in this case consumer one and consumer one input queue will end up getting everything because it can accept all of it and so that's uh, the reason why consumer one is doing all the work so to fix this uh, and a more realistic scenario what you want to do is the consumer uh, is not going to have unbounded capacity so let's just change this capacity uh, bounded capacity to be 2 so what this means is both of the consumers in their input can have only 2 uh, messages essentially so let's see what uh, if that uh, occurs what happens and if we try to run this uh, you will see a slightly different result and uh, hopefully the kind of result we expect so here you can see the consumer 1 got some messages then consumer 2 got some messages so at least we are able to interleave messages between consumer 1 and 2 so that uh, is pretty much what I wanted to cover so I wanted to highlight something called the bounded capacity uh, we have a way to do transformations transform blocks and then we can connect the uh, producer blocks or any block to another consumer down the pipeline using link to uh, I will add this video to my uh, website under Gaur associate and TPL uh, data flow and uh, link multiple blocks thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day